Hi, my name is Ashley. I am a nursing student from UDM. I'm going to be doing your head to toe assessment today. Shutting the curtain or closing the door, providing privacy, washing my hands. What's your first and last name? Ella Lane Soki. What's your date of birth? 2-25-95. Good. Um, do you know where you're at right now? The hospital. And what's today's date? April 9th. Patient is A&O times 3. Patient is well groomed, no body odor. Um, are you experiencing any pain today? No. Nope. Any allergies? No. Nope. Okay. Um, so if I'm going to start with his head. Um, skin is intact. Face is moist and warm and skin is appropriate for ethnicity. Um, there's no lesions, no scars, no scratches. Um, eyes are equal bilaterally and symmetric to his face. His nose is midline. And then I'm going to check his conjunctiva, which is pink and moist in both eyes. Um, go ahead and look straight at me. And follow the pen. Good. Pupils are equal, round, and reactive to light and accommodation. Um, open your mouth. Good. Oral mucosa is pink and moist and intact. Um, tonsils are both 2 plus bilaterally. Open again and say ah. Uh. Okay, uh, uvula is mobile and is midline. Um, all of his teeth are present and white. Um, smile, good, and puff your cheeks. Cranial nerve 5 and 7 are both intact. Um, next I'm going to move to the neck, which is warm. Um, skin, is, skin color is appropriate for ethnicity. I'm going to feel for his carotid pulse. which is 2 plus bilaterally. Okay, now I'm going to move to his, um, his upper extremities, his arms. Skin is warm. Um, skin color is appropriate for ethnicity. There uh, is no skin lesions, no scratches, no scars, and hair distribution is equal on both arms. Um, I'm going to listen for heart sounds. Okay, so first is the um, apical heart rate, which is the second intercostal space to the right of the sternum, and then the pulmonic pulse, which is the second intercostal space to the left of the sternum, and then the herbs point, which is third intercostal space to the left of the sternum, and then the tricuspid, which is the fifth intercostal space to the left of the sternum, and the apical, which is um, the fifth intercostal space in the midclavicular line. And then I'm going to listen for a minute and then flip to the bell and then reverse back up. Good. And then I'm going to listen for um, 10 heart, or I'm sorry, for his lung sounds on the front and the back. Lung sounds are clear, there's no crackling, no uh, wheezing. And then I'm going to listen to 10 more on his back. Again, there are no um, crackling or wheezing. Lung sounds are clear. And then let me know if there's any pain or tenderness. No. No. Good. And then go ahead and stand up for a second and touch your toes. Spine alignment is straight. Um, you can sit back down. And then I'm going to check his hands for um, his capillary refill. which is less than three seconds bilaterally, and there's no clubbing of the fingernails either. And then his uh, radial pulse, which is two plus bilaterally, and his brachial pulse, which is also two plus bilaterally. 
um, go ahead and lay down for me. I'm going to lightly palpate each of the four quadrants of the abdomen. Just let me know if there's any pain or tenderness. No. Okay, so client has no pain or tenderness on his abdomen. Um, the belly button is midline. There's no skin lesions. The skin is intact. Color is appropriate for ethnicity. It's warm and um, hair distribution is equal. And then I'm going to name the organs in each of the quadrants. So starting with the right lower quadrant, you've got the cecum and the appendix. In the right upper quadrant, you've got the, the liver and the right kidney and the gallbladder and in the left upper quadrant you've got the stomach, the spleen, and the splenic flexure. In the left lower quadrant uh, you've got the um, part of the descending colon, the sigmoid colon, and that's it. <laughs> okay, um, go ahead and sit up for me. Oh, I'm sorry, stay down. I'm going to listen for vowel sounds in each of the four quadrants. Okay, vowel sounds are present in each of the four quadrants and there's gurgling. Okay, now you can sit up for me. There's no jugular vein distension. Okay, so now I'm going to assess his legs. Skin is moist and warm and skin color is appropriate for ethnicity. Hair distribution is equal. I'm going to feel his popliteal pulses, which are two plus bilaterally his tibial pulse, which is also 2 plus bilaterally, and his dorsalis pedis pulse, which is also 2 plus bilaterally. And I'm going to do the Babinski test. Good. Okay, go ahead and stand up. And close your eyes and just relax your hands to your side. Good, you can open. Um, patient maintained stability, did not get dizziness or weak. Um, go ahead and walk to the wall and back for me. Patient's gait is steady, no stumbling, and um, patient's good. <laughs> <laughs>